Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show, the original and the best. There you go, Tone, I said it. And uh, the viewers have spoken on the greatest dummy spits. The boys had them last week. And the viewers have spoken. Here it is from six to one, the greatest dummy spits of all time. And we'll go with number six oh, was Jack oh, Rebel. Oh, no, no, Kane. <laughs> Come you, on, know, Kane. you know the saddest thing? Jack voted. Rich, uh, Richo <laughs> with only 2%. Oh. Richo, we did love Richo's. The Rocket. Oh, 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 oh that oh, might have got win. a few more. Yeah. Rock, okay. There we go, Robbie Muir. Oh, man, Robbie, 16%. Number two oh. was John Burke. Oh, you got to get the boys off. <laughs> so number one is Brian. Oh, 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 hey. The Bristler. Come on, Bristler. There he is. <laughs> I'll get you, umpire. Why oh, you little... Oh, look at him. He's mad. Come on, Brian. You're better than that. No, you're not. Look at him here, and there he goes. Oh, <laughs> Billy Duckworth there. Come on. <laughs> this next part's the best oh, part. Oh, yeah. Look at him. And then he tries to... Oh, oh look at Danaher there in there into him. And uh, now, this week, boys, you've all come in, fired, ready to go. The greatest cult hero ever. The greatest cult hero ever. And Kano, you're up first. There can only be one, and it's Warwick Capper. I still think he's the best character and biggest character that yeah. has ever played the game. And you look at that, he's a superstar player, kicked 100 goals in a season. But the work that he's done in the media and <laughs> on game day, the tight shorts and what a character he Here was. Here, I'm not yeah. sure anyone can beat him this morning. Very confident with this one. Oh, very confident, Warwick. Yeah, I'm going all right. Yeah, okay, Nate, what do you reckon? Well, I played with this guy, and Danny Southern Ooh, was a cult oh, yes. figure. Uh, late 80s, early 90s. See this vision here. He swears that he had Peter Sumich here and he felt him go limp. So the whole halftime break, he thought he'd actually killed Peter Sumich that day. He had snakes in his house. He had about three or four different he snakes. He had the big rat's tail out the back and he was... Is that, is that, oh, oh, oh. Roll that again. There it is. Yeah. The snakes. He was mad. Yeah, he played on him too. a couple of times. Really good fella. Yeah. Worked at a he zoo. spent a lot of time in the Middle East. Hasn't he, he? he moved yeah. to Egypt, so he lived in Egypt You were scared of him, weren't you, Bill? Petrified. Yeah, I was. <laughs> and just not him. There's a couple of them. <laughs> chomp, chomp. Yeah, I'll tell you what. This guy... Uh, it, it, Damo, you know how... You, there's one interview you would love to do before your career's over, and this is the guy that I would love to talk Rider. to before I give it all away, or someone Soon. puts me on the shoulder. Bruce Duell. <laughs> Yeah. I would love to sit down. Bruce, if you're watching, I would love to sit down with you just for five minutes and have mm. a chat. What I would just you found ask him? I don't know yet. Oh. I don't know uh, why he was so quiet. And yet he must have been somewhat demonstrative on the field, but his actions did the talking, <laughs> quite literally. And I just found him to be an absolute enigma. Yep. But not yeah. only that, he could back it up with his talent. I, I just think uh, Bruce good one. Will, he's a ripper. Well done, Tone. No, Lord. Uh, I've gone for the G-train, Bill. I think ah. that it wasn't the Eagles where he first started his career. Uh, he played six seasons with the Eagles, where I think he's one of the most powerful big men that the game's seen, and then he got obviously even bigger. I think that's when he got his cult hero status okay. once he joined St Kilda. It's just the hairdo, <laughs> he had the mullet for a while. Yeah. He went on and kicked 104 goals uh, in the season 2004 Ooh. as well. So I think the St Kilda fans yeah. loved him like no other towards the end uh, of his career. Love it, Lordo. Damo, who have you got? I'm going for one of Brownie's former teammates and a good mate of this show uh, in Jakey King. The push-up. Push the push-up. Um, Look, by his own admission, he, he wasn't the greatest player, but uh, every single person who played with him and trained with him uh, would have happily gone to war with that man. And uh, he created a few wars, as you can see on the ground uh, <laughs> over the journey. Um, oh. Loved it, didn't he? Oh. Just uh, always good to deal with. Uh, very different. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh, I wish he took that. Dropped a car. Oh. And there he is there, Brownie, having just a having a little, uh, a little drink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you love that. Well done, Jakey boy. And I'm going with a player that Geelong fans loved. He wasn't the best player at the time. Max Rook, or Jared Rook, he was. This is the first goal in the 09 Grand Final. Bang! This sets up the game here. Tackle from behind, then goes back and kicks the first goal of the 09 Grand Final. Well done, Rookie. He was hard, he was tough, he tackled. And the last goal the of last the goal. 09 yeah. Grand Final too, when he dribbles this one through here. After the siren. Look, the boys are very happy here. They've got it now because they knew it was late in the game. Kicked it after the siren. But just one well, of those blokes the uh, teammates and the fans loved. Yeah, well done, we wouldn't have seen that, would we, if there were shorter quarters? We wouldn't nah. have seen <laughs> that. Oh, okay. And there's the no. social, socials, Tone. Yeah, well, tell us about them. Footy on nine on Facebook. Big yep. improvement, Bill, on last week with that. Mm. Yeah, thanks. Well, 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 <laughs> Footy on nine on Facebook. Just no. go to Facebook and, and pin it. <laughs> <laughs>